The Committee on Homeland Security will come to order. The Committee is meeting today to receive testimony on H.R. 2868, the Chemical Facility Anti-Terrorism Act of 2009. Uh, I look forward to hearing from our witnesses today as we move forward with reauthorizing and enhancing the CFATS program. Thank you. I now recognize the ranking member of the full committee, the gentleman from New York, Mr. King, for an opening statement. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and like you, I look forward to the testimony today. I must say at the outset, though, that I do have very real concerns about going forward with this legislation. Uh, we adopted very comprehensive legislation back in 2006. Uh, Mr. Longwin was in the forefront of the negotiations and discussions where we forged right, the very real and uh, workable and meaningful compromises. And as the chairman said in his opening statement, the department has made real progress. And my understanding is that the president and the administration and the department itself are asking that uh, the legislation be extended for one year that we not have a rush to judgment, that we not have a rush to revise the bill or to change it, but to give the department uh, one year to uh, fully comply with and to uh, implement the legislation which was passed in 2006. Uh, Rand Beers, when he was testifying before the uh, Senate, President's nominee for undersecretary, he also requested that a uh, one-year extension be granted. And my understanding is that the uh, Homeland Security Appropriations Bill, which will be on the floor tomorrow or uh, Friday, uh, is actually calling for, uh, has included in it a one-year extension. So we have the uh, Appropriations Bill uh, going forward with a, uh, with a one-year extension, and yet we are attempting to revise the bill. And again, if I could say that shows, I think, part of the weakness in not having an authorization bill, because we have the uh, uh, Appropriations uh, Subcommittee on Homeland Security moving ahead and setting policy, and we're coming in afterwards and we're setting different policy, and that I think shows the inherent weakness in the uh, multiplicity of uh, jurisdictional committees uh, in, in this uh, entire issue of uh, Homeland Security. So I have real concerns and I see no purpose why we are rushing forward today uh, against the wishes of the President, against the wishes of the Department, and uh, against the wishes of the uh, 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 Appropriations Committee. Uh, now, other issues I have, I have real concerns about the whole issue of the third-party suits, and I'd be interested in the, uh, the testimony from the department as to how they, they feel about that, uh, having uh, citizens bringing lawsuits uh, off this legislation. And again, uh, the overall concern I have is that in many ways we are uh, giving the environmental lobby too much of an in here. This is a homeland security issue. It's not environmental. Uh, obviously, there's environmental concerns, but the prime uh, concern here should be uh, Homeland Security, security, keeping Americans safe, saving, saving the lives of Americans. And we get into the whole issue of inherently safer technology, and I uh, recall with uh, some anguish listening to the debates between Mr. Longwood and Mr. Markey in 2006 over inherently safer technology. I thought the compromise we worked out at that time made sense because without oversimplifying it, inherently safer technology is a concept. And I just think it's dangerous for us to be rushing the gun, uh, coming in a year before the department wants to have all its regulations in place and its policies in place and imposing a concept of uh, security rather than actual science, rather than uh, precise uh, uh, methodology. So again, I look forward to the testimony of Mr. Chairman. I have to say I have real concerns about the direction in which we're going. And I think I'm wondering how much of this is almost wasted effort in view of what the uh, uh, Appropriations Committee is going to be doing on the, on the House floor this week, and what I assume the Senate will be doing, and we will be really, uh, uh, will be coming in too late with legislation which serves no real purpose. So with that, uh, having said all that, I still look forward to the hearing, and I thank the Chairman for his courtesy, and I yield back to balance my time.